What's up, guys? Big Joe Nobody, back again for another Two Minute Tuesday. I hope you enjoyed the last one today. We're going to talk about leaders, which is kind of a continuation. Hopefully, we're going to keep it in two minutes. If you have any questions about leaders, hopefully this will answer for you. It's going to be a very basic overview again. Let's get into the video. All right, here we are at the Tackle Store. If you go to Rig Components Leaders, this is going to tell us the basic things we have to look at. Uh, your options, classic leaders. This is going to be for most of your spin gear and your float gear. Classic leaders come in steel, nylon, and fluorocarbon. Your nylon is basically mono. I don't know why you would want to use mono as opposed to something else, but if you want to, that's always available. It's like having fluorocarbon at the end of whatever you're using as your main line. So if you're using braid, you can have a, the benefits of fluorocarbon for the bite. Now, that can be a little bit difficult with some of the some of the float fishing. If it's too long, obviously the bait's gonna sit deeper. You gotta make sure that you're targeting a species that is a little deeper. The only thing you're gonna want with steel eaters is pike. That's pretty much the only thing that I have ever seen bite on a steel eater and to be completely honest if you are going for pike go for a big fluorocarbon leader it still works better as long for pike as long as you keep the tension low it's not going to bite it off where the chances of it biting off are much much slimmer all right the other thing that we're going to use as common is a feeder leader this is for all your bottom rigs. It, it comes in nylon, which is your mono again, fluorocarbon and braided lines. Now braided lines are for everything on the bottom. Fluorocarbon, just like before, is everything that you can see. So you're gonna use a fluorocarbon anytime you're hunting for fish that are gonna use their eyes. That includes all your smaller species, whether it be dace or roughies, all the way up to brim and anything of that size, uh, crucian carp, for instance. A braid is gonna be used for bottom fishing, everything from your common barbel all the way up to beluga. You're gonna use a braid leader. And the only reason you're gonna use a braid leader is because bottom fish want a smaller, a smaller profile. With that smaller profile, it's much less likely to be actually detected by the fish therefore you're going to get a lot more bites now a couple other specialty things for different specific rigs a hinged leader is for hinge stiff rig uh, i don't know anybody that uses them very often they do serve a purpose at certain times they work again it's there if you need it that's what it's there for uh, lead cores are used in all the hair rigs uh a lead core is basically a, a right or a, it's a leader right before your final leader that goes out to the fish. This is what your weight slides on and everything like this. This is going to go down into the dirt if it's on the silt bottom or clay bottom, things like that. Uh, basically, just whatever bottom type you're fishing on, which is probably going to be either silt or uh, clay. Clay would use the brown camo. Uh, you can also you make your own with red camo. Now, that leads us into make your own. They give you the option of these leader materials. You don't have to buy one if you don't want to. Uh, I, I do like the red. It works really great in clay, which most of amber is a clay bottom. So I use this one quite often, uh, but you can use any of these, or you can use regular line of whatever type that you need. If you need fluorocarbon, use your fluorocarbon that fits the right size and strength. If you need braid, use the use braid if you want. Any any common braid that you would buy under this lines section, you can make all that into leaders. You just have to have a leader tool, which is found at the hardware store. We're not going to go there and look at it. I don't remember the price of it. Hopefully I'll remember to put a little sticker right there, somewhere over here. Hopefully I'll remember to do that. If not, sorry. Now to make a leader, you need line, 
whether it be lead material or regular line, and some kind of swivels. Now, these swivels, uh, I don't think it matters a whole lot of difference. If you can get your strength that you need out of the smallest one, get the smallest one. If you need something big, get the big ones. Uh, I'm sure there is a difference. So most people, because it's fairly cheap, just go on and get the big ones. Uh, but using a really, really big swivel on a very, very small leader, visually you can tell the difference and I can only assume that it does have an effect on your on your fishing at least to a small degree if you want to make your own leader you have to have the right tool once you do it's very easy to do you press your end to go to your crafting menu go down the leaders pick which leader you want and let's say a common leader Pick what length you want. So the shorter leaders are going to have better hookups because it's going to be less stretch and it's going to be closer to the actual fish when you actually pull up uh, and you set the hook. A longer leader is going to get you more bites because it becomes it's further out from your terminal ta or your end tackle, your weights and everything. Therefore, it sits further out. And when it sits further out, it's less likely to detect all your other equipment. Therefore, you're going to get more bites on it. Uh, here's the tool that I was talking about, this fishing tool. That's what allows you to make your own leaders. You can put whatever material you want. Uh, we, the one that's in here right now is the microcarbon. It's a fluorocarbon, one kilogram uh, line. It's not even a leader material. So what we're going to do is we can use this. And then just add whichever swivels is the smallest one that's bigger than the line. It's just however you want to limit the strength of that particular leader. Using a smaller leader than your line means that the swivel will now be your weak point. Now, that being said, the, the main thing you have to worry about is the thickness. Now, the thickness of the line is going to tell you how visible it is. And the more thick it is, the more visible to any fish. Even it, it doesn't matter whether you're talking about bottom fishing or float fishing or needing a fluorocarbon for anything. The thickness matters. However, it is not the biggest factor, especially when you're talking about bottom fishing. In bottom fishing, you want to use braid. Uh, it blends in well. Make sure you get the right color combo. Again, red for clay, red or brown. Silt, if it's a silted floor. Uh, bear has a lot of silted floors. Amber is a lot of clay. Uh, most other places have a variety of different bottoms. But if you stick to those two, you're pretty much going to be okay. Uh, for fluorocarbon, if you're float fishing, Maybe you use a short leader if you're wanting to get something high up in the water column. If you if you got depth to, to work with, if you're going to go like 80 centimeters or more, sure, use a 60 centimeter leader. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, but all in all, that's pretty much all there is to leaders. Now, again, you're probably not going to use hinge stiff leaders or hinge leaders unless you're very, very good particular going for a certain rig to use uh, feeder leaders this is for your bottom rigs uh, as we discussed earlier pick your pick your braid or pick your leader material braid and then pick out which swivels you want for these i would suggest going for the big ones the the nicer ones there is a quality level difference between the cheapest and the most exp and the most expensive I have to assume that it helps. I haven't noticed any difference. I've been told there's no difference, but I don't want to take the chance. I always just use these. And by the time you use braided leaders, you don't really mind spending 10 silver. Unless you're me, which likes to spend money for no reason. As you can tell, I'm supposed to be saving up for Tagara, and I don't have any money. Uh, but then you just hit make, and it makes whatever you have set up here. So... All in all, that's pretty much all you have for leaders. Uh, by the time you got that, you get all your stuff set up and classic leader, just put whatever classic leader you want on here.
this is a jigging rig. This is the first spinning rod. Doesn't matter which one you use. Uh, I don't think it uses an, any spinning rig, anything but a classic leader. And you're almost always going to use fluorocarbon. If you are in a place that has pike, which is most water bodies, uh, 17 kg or bigger will kind of take care of pike. Uh, just make sure that you don't get it up in the yellow or red and you'll be okay. Okay, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Please, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. Make sure that you get these videos in every time I upload. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below if you have some suggestions or if you know what the next week's Two Minute Tuesday is. Maybe something you have a question of yourself or maybe it's something that you've noticed a lot of people asking in the chat. I'm here to help. Let me know. Also, I'll respond to any comments that are posted below. I hope you did enjoy it. Y'all have a great day. Tight lines, everybody. I'm out.